Today's early, 7 o'clock. I thought it'd be easier, and uh, wow, I made it. I was just at the water park, like, I don't know, I got home half an hour ago. We realized I didn't feed my daughter. So anyway, all's good. <sighs> all right, here we go. Now time for some zen. Um, I, I may go back. I think the next call is next Tuesday at 8 o'clock, so week tomorrow at 8. I'm trying to find the right time. With summer, it's tougher because if I wait too late, I can't get my daughter to bed. If I'm too early, so I haven't figured out the perfect time. We're kind of off schedule in summer. Okay, so um, today we're going to talk about what's going on energetically because there are a lot of people suffering right now with feeling very uh, uncomfortable and actually I feel it. So I'm very sensitive to the moon. I'm very sensitive to um, solar flares and big shifts in the universe. Although I know what's happening, so I'll be all calm and cool, but it can get to me. It gets under my skin, it gets me agitated. Very interestingly, um, just kind of, there's so many different viewpoints up there of what's happening. We are in the ascension process. So um, what does that mean? It means that the earth is moving into a higher octave and dimensions. Like we're moving higher. We're moving higher up, meaning humanities being forced to open up their consciousness, open up their hearts. Because the earth itself is going through this process we're on it, so we're being forced, whether we know about it or don't know about it, we want to do it or we don't want to do it, we're doing it. So it's a very uncomfortable feeling, but in essence, what does the ascension process mean? Well, it means that we're going to start anchoring more light. So our 3D dense bodies are going to let go of some of, let go of a lot, jet, a lot actually, but very gently and gradually. We're gonna let the darkness out and allow more light in. We're gonna anchor more light. So some people have already started this process. Um, the big shift was in 1987, then there was one in 2000, then 2012. And now here we are, it's still continuing, but it's really amplified and it's really moving faster than, than ever before. It's like time's moving quicker, everything's moving quicker. So before we get into that, um, just so we all know, the call itself is the uh, free Be Brilliant healing call. So really, in essence, this call is for the healing. Um, we're going to send a group healing. Everyone's going to get what they need to release any physical pains, emotional or mental. But there's kind of a little talk just to kind of talk about what people are asking me. So we might as well talk about what's kind of on people's minds. Now, 
when we kind of hit one topic, it can resonate with a lot of people, but then some people may not understand it because this one's kind of a more of a confusing one if you're new to these calls where we're talking about like the ascension process and what is it. And a lot of people have different viewpoints. And again, anything I say is just my viewpoint based on my 12 years of kind of fooling around with energy, seeing how it works, reading and my downloads and meditations. Um, so this is a, whatever I speak about is my belief system, is my perception. So just take it with a grain of salt. If it resonates in your heart, then it's right to you. But if it's something that you're not ready to hear, or something that doesn't feel right, then just say, okay, Brenda said this doesn't mean it's true. I'm just going to put it in this box. What I've learned over the years is I was one who believed everything. I was so naive, gullible, like really? Like, oh, this person knows so much more than me. Because No, we all are connected. We all have an inner truth. And that's what I've learned is listen to your own inner truth. That's your truth. So again, anything I say, you take it for what it is. If it resonates, there. And if it doesn't, then hey, that's okay too. So the ascension process is some people will tell me, oh, um, what's going to happen is people, some people who are awake on earth are going to ascend into like a, a heaven on earth and everyone who's not awake is going to stay on earth. And, and I just, you know, I listen to them and in my heart, that does not even feel right. So to me, that's not my truth. But my truth feels like, hey, we're all in this together. The earth is going through changes where she's starting to heal. So I heard this recently and then it was kind of in meditation. It was really neat where earth right now is going through a phenomenal process earth has been in a fear-based consciousness for thousands of years earth has gone to the darkest of the dark and now it is coming out to move to a place of much more love a love-based consciousness not to say on earth didn't have love before, but there used to be a very high percentage of fear-based consciousness and a low amount of love-based consciousness. But what's been happening is it's been shifting, shifting, shifting. Love-based consciousness has been coming close to 50-50. In March 2020, it went over. Now, when it went over, it's kind of the start of COVID where everything started to go kind of upside down. So how can that be a good thing? Well, the good thing is what's happening is with this love consciousness going over 50% and getting stronger and stronger every day for the last year, what's happening is a light is being shone on earth to purge out the darkness. So sometimes we have to see the darkness for us to release it. So it's not that earth is any worse than it's ever been. What's happening is the darkness is being revealed to us and it can make us not feel good. It can make us feel nauseous listening to all the things that are coming through. Um, all those things are, are, are starting to purge out. So people say, this is the worst time we've ever lived on earth. It's probably one of the hardest times, the most critical times. A lot of light workers out there, old souls out there are, are feeling the energy shifts more than some others. So it's very uncomfortable. Um, a lot of people said, you know, sometimes I just ask to like leave the planet just too much. I, I get it. But in a way, we're so blessed to be here because this is something that we weren't sure Earth was going to come through or not. And we're kind of in unchar uncharted territories. So the actual ascension process, the way I understand it and the way I've been feeling it over the last 12 years is a very slow, gradual shift into more light. So we all carry heaviness in our field, darkness, dead energy, interference, things like that. But every time we do something for ourselves, we're meditating, we're, we're using affirmations, we're just talking to ourselves, we're walking in the forest, we're connecting. What we're doing is we're getting rid of some of that darkness and we're moving out that darkness and allowing more light to come in. So it's, it's kind of a um, slow progression. I'm going to, sorry, one second. Yes. Um, no, you cannot, but you can use mine. Sorry, I just have um, my daughter here. Here you go. There you go. People don't, there you go. All right. Sorry. Okay. 
seriously as well? You're so cute. There you go. Okay, made me mad. Okay, sorry about that. All right. Um, my train of thought. So as we're moving through the ascension process, we are. Take this back here. Um, as we're moving through the ascension process, what's happening is we're getting rid of the darkness, allowing the light, we're getting rid of the darkness, allowing the light. So our 3D body has to catch up. And as we're going through these changes, some of us, when we do healings, might feel dizzy, nauseous, unsettled, crying, frustration, anger, because all that stuff that repressed energy is coming out. So we're in this thing right now. There was a solar. Now, I don't follow this. I wish I had time. Some of my clients follow it and send me stuff. But we've gone through some type of solar storm. What I do sense is the solar flare. So the, the sun spits out some energy or mass, which then hits Earth with, the, with wind. And there's this like violent storm in our atmosphere. And then the solar flares hit Earth. Now, solar flares come often and hit Earth. And what they do is they support Earth's healing. I'm just going to mute someone here. Okay. So, all right, there we go. So as, as these solar flares hit Earth, the neat thing is we have so much support from the other side, the spirit world, with love beings, beings of love and light, all this stuff. So what's happening as all this stuff is coming to us, um, we can feel very agitated because... It doesn't matter if you have an open heart, awaken, not awaken. This energy that's hitting Earth right now, we're getting it from many different places. So solar flares is one of them. Sometimes it's the moon energy. Sometimes it's other things that are just bombarding. So we have a lot of backup from the other side, sending us the energy to help us let go of the darkness and allow the light to come in. So we're anchoring more light, anchoring more light. We're becoming lighter. We're going to stay on Earth. It's just going to be different. We're moving to a love versus more love consciousness instead of fear versus love. So that's where we're headed. So there's a bit of a journey to get there. Now, as we're going there, we're getting all this, this uh, energy. Every human being on earth is, is, has access. This energy is coming to all of us. People who are open feel it more. Now, they can start having spontaneous healings where they're getting very dizzy, vertigo, throwing up, diarrhea, not sleeping well, agitation, frustration, crying, because all that energy, that dense energy starting to leave your system. Now, for those people who are not awakened, let's say, okay, they're still in 3D, don't understand what's going on, wouldn't and never attend a call like this, that energy is available to them as well. But sometimes it can actually irritate them so badly, they may decide, like, they just, like, will lose their mind and do something stupid. But it's because that's this energy is really trying to open everyone's hearts. But some people are resistant because we all have free will. We will open up to this change when we're ready. So you can live in a family of what I'll call a bunch of 3D people who are not ready to open up to this process. And it's not something you can talk someone into. So you can't say to your spouse, oh, no, you, you just have to open your heart. You got to do it. You'll feel so good. This and that. What can actually happen is you can actually bridge a bigger gap between you because you're you're kind of here, they're there. When you talk and you kind of like um, the preacher stuff, it can actually piss people off and push them the other way. But the trick is just stay in your power, stay in your light, and just allow your connection, allow your peacefulness to radiate to everyone. Now, when we're in something like these solar flares, it's really hard to stay in that place of peace because we're also going through this purging of the darkness. So this last few days, I knew something was off. I've had many people calling. I noticed my family off and I noticed it's like, there's an external force really irritating me. So I said, okay, I know it's something. And then when I started reading, I started getting, I don't read everything people send me. I started reading, I said, oh, it's solar flares. Um, that's what's bothering me. So I have been doing energy work for 12 years, but there's still dense energy I need to let go of. And this energy is helping it release. So I find myself a little more frustrated than usual, a little more like, so I have to take deep breaths. Like, okay, if I wasn't being aware, 
here I am on a call. And my daughter comes in to interrupt me. She knows better. She knows that I don't like that. Now, I can either be a conscious person saying, okay, yeah, that's a bit irritating, but I'm just going to take a deep breath, make it light and say, okay, here you go. And then she comes back again. Here you go. Here you go. The other part, like there's a part of all of us that just wants to lose your crap on someone. It's like, what? You know better, blah, blah, blah. blah. But when we lose our crap on someone, all that does is it brings your negative energies out and now you hurt someone's feelings. And then a situation that could have been made into something more humorous and light has now gotten big and ugly and everyone's upset and that negative energy is now in the house. So when I'm feeling a little bit off, when things are bothering me because of these external forces, I generally just take more deep breaths, look at the situation in broader view, say, yeah, well, the people on the phone or on the call really mind if I, you know, talk to my daughter for a second, no, things like that. So I kind of look at it from different, whereas, you know, if I was in more of a 3D place, I wouldn't be doing this call for one, but I would be doing, like, say there's a Zoom call for work. And your kid interrupts, well, it's kind of embarrassing. Now, I know look like I'm not professional and then you have all these stories you're making in your head and you might just yell at your child, put yourself on mute, yell at your child. Now your kid's upstairs sulking and then there's that negative energy there. So when you're in the state of healing, acknowledge those the sadness that comes up, the frustration, the aggression. Don't, don't repress them and ignore them. The trick is the energy's blowing it out so we can acknowledge it. Yes, I feel hurt. Oh yeah, I remember that relationship from 10 years ago that hurt my feelings. The, it's bubbling up yet again. Yes, I remember that person did that to me. I'm going to allow it to go. So I acknowledge the feelings. I say, I, I understand it. I let it go. I'm resolving it. I'm not ignoring it. Because when we are growing up or going through life, many of the experiences we just suppressed. We pushed away, we suppressed it, we pushed away, we suppressed it. And what that did is it kind of like gets buried. As you start to go through the healing process, all those buried, repressed feelings, traumas, experiences bubble up and need to be looked at, acknowledged, and let go. So the trick is those feelings, don't ignore them, breathe through them, do whatever you can to get yourself feeling good, connect with nature. So we have beautiful weather here in Ontario, go for walks, go for walks in the forest, look up at the stars at night, um, whatever is your peacefulness, take off your shoes and ground yourself in the grass. One that I like, especially for people who are feeling dizzy, because I get a lot of comments of people feeling dizzy. You want to ground yourself because this energy is kind of pulling us more into this direction. So if we ground ourselves, you're going to get rid or at least reduce some of that dizzy feeling that you have. So you can picture, uh, I like to um, stand on grass when I do this, but you don't have to. You can even be in an apartment building. At some level, that building touches the ground. So you can be standing in your apartment or wherever you live and just imagine roots growing out of your feet to the earth's core and then you ask the earth to send you grounding energy loving earth energy and you'll actually some people will feel it come through and anchor it in your heart and ask it to anchor you down to earth when you anchor the dizziness of that like we're getting pulled this way to kind of change and grow and let go it kind of grounds us back so you can kind of temper off some of that dizziness Another way to help move the toxins out faster is using something called tapping. I sent out uh, information on this before. If you need tapping information, um, what I'll do is I'll just probably add it to the uh, thank you for joining. But it's about tapping. It's using acupuncture points. And as you're tapping, you can say, okay, I'm feeling really agitated, I'm feeling sad, I'm feeling this. It'll help push out the energy because they're stuck in the meridian system, things like that. Another thing is take a bath, a uh, bath using Epsom salt and baking soda, about 40 minutes. I usually put quite a bit of both and just kind of sit in there. It's such a really, it pulls out toxins. It's so, um, so refreshing to do that. So there's different ways you can deal with that irritation. Um, just taking a few deep breaths. Um, trying to joke around, think about something that makes you happy instead of something that makes you grumpy. Self-talk is one of my favorite ones, my affirmations, because I self-talk all day. If I'm not talking to 
my kids, clients, a friend. I'm talking to myself and my guides. All right, Brenda, something's irritating me. All right, let's let it come up. Let me feel it. I usually feel, okay, where's it bothering? Okay, today it's bothering me my solar plexus. Okay, now I'm having feelings about people took advantage of me. Okay, yeah, that's kind of a crappy feeling. Yeah, I mean, I was a pushover and people think my kindness, they take my kindness and compassion as being a pushover. I'm really not a pushover. I know I'm not, but people will treat me as though I am and, and do things in the past more so than now. So those things, okay, so I'm going to get back my power. So I remember those feelings. I say, okay, I honor those feelings. That was the old Brenda who was really a pushover. But I'm not that girl anymore. So I'm going to let them go. I, I thank those experiences for helping me who I am now, and I'm letting them go. I'm resolving them. Instead of saying, oh no, these feelings are coming up. I hate them. I'm just going to go put them in the back again. Well, if you put them in the back again, they're going to come up again. So we all have things we deny, we repress, we hide, because it's really hard to look at who we are, what we've done, how people treat us. It's, it's hurtful. But if we don't look at it and just let it go, just let the hurt go, you're going to forgive the person who did it to you and forgive yourself. Because if we remember, the people who hurt us in the past were not conscious at the time. So they may have hurt us intentionally or not intentionally. And even if it was intentionally, it may have been that they were in the best version of themselves. So we're all learning and growing. And then we can say, well, that person hasn't changed in the same way as they were 15 years ago. That's fine. But they're on their own journey. So why not send them compassion and love for who they are? Because they taught us something by our experiences with them. I grew from them. So I thank this person and this person listening for all the crap that you ever did because you made me who I am today. So you kind of just, you get to look at the situation and add the information you want to look at the situation the way you want to look at it. It was a growth experience. I'm glad it happened. Okay, I'm glad it's not happening again, but I'm glad it happened. I'm acknowledging it. I'm letting it go. In essence, what's happening is humanity is allowing the dense energy to leave, pulling in more light. For those of us who are holding the light, for others who are just starting the process. So before, when you're in a group of people that were gossiping and this, I never liked gossip, it never felt good to me. But back then, I used to just leave the conversation. But now I'll stay there and I'll stay quiet. And I'll send everyone my heart. I'll just say, okay, let's just send everyone love so they can realize that, you know what, what they're doing isn't really the best thing for anyone. And then they'll ask, oh, Brenda, you're so quiet. Well, I, I'm enjoying being with you guys. I just don't enjoy the conversation we're in right now. So I'm just going to stay here and wait till it shifts. And it might not shift the whole night. You're sitting there saying, oh my gosh, like how can they talk about this forever? But, you know, some people do. But if you keep doing that, and you're, you're the, being that light, the light that we possess is so much stronger than the darkness. So what I like to do is I like to get my vibration as high as possible. I feel as good as possible. And I go to the grocery store and I know that the light I'm shining is going to go into someone's field that has darkness. I may not wake up that person. I may not ever see that person again and know what that light did to them. But in my heart, I know as all of us start to walk around in a state of compassion, love, sending our light to those, we are making a dent in the darkness. And as we do that, we are adding to the human consciousness and moving us into the ascension process faster. Um, there was a really great indicator I noticed, and it was two years ago, uh, I was listening to a channel that I like, and they said, this event was going to happen in 20 years, which would be 18 years from now. Well, I was listening to the same thing and, and the same channel. And what they do is they kind of feel the consciousness on earth based on what the consciousness is doing. They kind of give a prediction. It went from eight, what I was thinking should be 18 years to 2023. So we're moving so much quicker now because there's so many more hearts opening up in the world. So it's really exciting. Like, I know sometimes it doesn't look like we're making momentum, we're making positive changes. But if you look at the, the, the world in a whole, human consciousness, pockets are opening up, people's hearts are opening up all over. It all adds to that human, like the collective, 
and we are moving a lot faster than just two years ago, 18 years to now two years. That's a dramatic shift of where we're headed in such a good, and it was a good direction. It was like, we're gonna start noticing big improvements. The more of us that send love and light, at the speed, the faster. So we're gonna start seeing more paradigm shifts of really wonderful things coming. So I know things feel agitating right now. I, I've been in it as well. It's not the easiest thing. There's some tips and tricks that you can do to release them. But now we're gonna to get to the healing, which is gonna give some clearing of the field. Um, so with the healing part itself, it's gonna be about 25 minutes. You're just gonna relax sitting, laying down. The intention is this energy that comes through, it comes through my crown, it comes through my entire body. It is liquid love and light. It's intelligence, it's beautiful, and it loves every one of us. We all have a soul signature, so it knows exactly what each of us needs. As it comes through, it's going to heal at the physical level, emotional, mental level, whatever you need. So at this time, you can just take a drink of water and give permission saying, hey, I am ready to heal. I deserve to heal. I've been feeling off. This hurts. That hurts. I'm ready to let it go. And, you know, sometimes it could be a full healing. I do get emails like that. Some people's more gradual. Some people after these calls are burping all night. Some sleep peacefully. We're all very different. The energy that comes out, I, it's almost like it's there for everyone, but it's up to your soul, your higher self to take what you need. And that's where the specifics come in. It's what you need from that energy that comes through. I will also ask that anyone in your home, including pets, get um, access to this energy. Again, it's up to them to take it or not. We don't force anything. And we will do a clearing of your homes. Now, you can also set an intention that, hey, my son is not with me right now, but I would like this energy to send some to him. Or I have family in another country and I would like that energy to be sent to them. Or let's send all the uh, business owners in Ontario who've been really stressed out love and light so they can feel calm, have a good sleep and feel refreshed in the morning and more confident. Or whatever it is, you can make that intention. This energy knows no limits. The only limits are the ones we create. So when I start to send it out, I, so I go big, I go huge because my belief system is now very, very huge where I know this energy is unlimited and I know it can touch the hearts of so, so many. So that's what we'll do. After the call, I will use the singing bowl, which makes a bit of vibration. That is just clearing the last minute negative energy out of the field. If at that point you just want to hang up, go right ahead and relax and sleep, do whatever you want to do. If you want to stay on, I may chat a little bit if my daughter allows me to. Um, and if not, I'll wrap it up. Okay. And one more thing, just in case I forgot to tell you after, if you feel excessively thirsty, even be without like with these solar flares, I've been feeling excessively thirsty because we're purging and we're healing and we're purging and we're healing. Drink, drink, drink as much water as you feel necessary. There's nothing wrong with it. It is just getting rid of toxins in your system. So with that being said, I'm gonna start the music. I'm gonna drink my water and then we'll begin. Okay, so I'm gonna start the music. All right. I'm gonna mix it up. I'm just gonna shuffle and see what happens. And it's not one of my favorites, but hey, I'm gonna go with it. And I'm gonna actually share it through my screen so it you can hear it better. If it's too loud, just put in the chat box that it's not good and I will turn it down a bit. I'm gonna share the music and you won't hear me. One more thing, when some of you might hear it, see my mouth moving. I'm not talking out loud. I'm talking with my guides when I do the work. That's what I do. So just ignore it, okay? I'm only gonna share the sound and here we go. Enjoy everyone. I'm just gonna drink my water quickly.
For those of you who would like, you can just hang up, stay in that quiet space. I've set intentions out for peaceful sleeps. Again, some people still don't get that. Um, oh, sorry, I'm going to stop sharing. I don't even know if you heard the bowl. I was still sharing, so I apologize. But the bowl was sent out by intention more so. Um, at this point, you can just hang up, go relax. Um, the energies. Like uh, the energies that come through lately are just so enormous. But the neat thing about that is the more dense energy we let out, the more light we can allow in. So the more work I do on myself, the more light I can send out. But that happens for everyone. The more dense energy you let go, the more light you anchor, the more light you hold for yourself and for others. The more light you have in your field, the less you're bombarded by negative things coming at you doesn't make us immune to them um they're still there um you just can deal with them more because you're a little more conscious of it you have a different perspective it's like kind of like that 3d perspective or the 5d perspective 5d really anytime anything over 4d is all dimensions so um but a lot of people know it as 3d and 5d um, so the more work that you're doing, the more conscious you are of how you're feeling, how you're responding instead of reacting, all those give you the power to make your own decisions and start to really direct your own life, which is quite beautiful. So, um, and we're all in this together. So the better you feel, the better I feel, we add to the collective because one smile um, to someone who's grumpy, you know what? We may not make them smile, but that smile does go a long way, whether we know it or not. So just spending that, sending that love and compassion um, as much as possible and non-judgment as we start to go back into the world, we're all coming from different places, different perspectives. No one's right or wrong because we all have our own personal truths. Um, our truths can change. Our belief systems can change over time. What I believe 12 years ago is very different from what I believe today. What I believe one month ago is somewhat different from what I believe today. Um, sometimes I teach something and then I have a whole different perspective of it a few weeks later and I teach it a different way. 
Um, so we're always evolving. But I think as long as we know where we are is perfect and evolving, we have no pressure to get there. There, once you're there, you're gonna to wanna to get there. And once you're there, you wanna get there. So our, we're always grabbing something more. But if you're just happy with where you are, enjoying the moment, enjoying this beautiful time and space we're in right now, watching people interact, you know, when you see people, you know, arguing, just stand back and send them love. Um, I went to Toronto yesterday for the first time in so long. The skyline changed, everything seemed so different. And for the most part, everyone was happy go lucky, happy to be out. It was quite beautiful. But I was on a ferry to the island and uh, there was uh, two men fighting over a bike, touched him, whatever, right? Like, you know, and that agitation kind of freaked people out. But I just sat there and sent everyone love. Did it change them? Maybe not, but it was better than sending anger and frustration to them. So it all, we all make a difference. So respond with love instead of reacting with judgment is, is a really great way to know you're on the right path. Knowing when someone tells you something you don't want to hear, just take it neutral. Their truth doesn't have to be yours, but you know, you can listen. I don't love listening to negativity. I'm more of a person that does not watch the news, does not, I don't even know, it's so confusing, nothing makes sense to me. So I like to stay in my bubble of love and light because I can keep my vibration higher. So I am choosy on who I speak with. I am very selective of what I watch. I'm selective on who I surround myself with. Um, sometimes we live in families where we don't have much of a choice because we're living in a 3D family, we're living in the house. How do you cope with that? Stay in your heart as much as possible. Um, instead of worrying about someone, just say things like, my child is thriving, happy and healthy, or my mom is happy and healthy and thriving. My friends are happy and healthy affirmations to calm yourself down, my body's healthy, I'm feeling good, work is good, I'm appreciated. Affirmations are so strong and so powerful. The more you say them, the easier you can say them. And really, a belief is just a thought you say over and over so you can change negative beliefs into positive ones with lots of affirmations. Um, and just living a life that promotes those new beliefs and you slowly start to switch into them. So I'm gonna end on that note, unless someone has a question, I will keep the chat open for a few minutes. My daughter's being pretty okay. So she's probably happy with what she's doing at this point. Um, so if anyone has any questions, I can answer them. If not, I'll call it a night. If you're very thirsty, drink, drink, drink. If you have any questions afterwards, you can send me an email. There is no right or wrong on how you feel. Some people feel very peaceful and relaxed. Some people won't. That's part of your healing process. We're all very unique. Just honor it. And, um, oh, first time. Okay, great. Um, yeah, this is kind of a bizarre thing. And I find I, for the new person who uh, made a comment, I find I don't, I just dive in and I don't even, you know, kind of introduce what's happening. So I'm glad you stuck it out and kind of saw how I roll here. Um, I just kind of get into this plan. I just start talking. So um, perfect. So thank you for joining. And uh, yeah, you know, oh yeah, one more thing. I am, I am recording these. This one has a bit of a blip with my daughter coming in. I think during the healing, I sensed her here and I kind of peeked and I don't know what she was doing on the screen. So when I replay it, uh, if I see that, I think I was smiling because I'm like, okay, what is this child doing? And I said, okay, well, a little bit of comic relief isn't such a bad thing. Um, she knows better, but she knows this is also, uh, I'm more relaxed with this call. It's not like a one-on-one -on -one session. She does not come in on those. Um, she's much more behaved, but I think there's such an easy feel to these that she just thinks it's, it's okay to come and, and peek and see what's going on. All right, everyone. Well, have a blessed night. Drink lots of water, be kind to yourself, and know that we're all loved unconditionally. And all this uneasiness we're feeling is for the greater good. We're on to such a beautiful path. It is, it is like I can't, 
express it in words. I just feel it in my heart. Um, so uh, yeah, just hang on to that. We are moving into a very, very awesome place. Um, one of love, more love and, and, and kindness and beautiful gifts. People's gifts are starting to 